All right then. Remnant from the ashes. It's been a few days. But I really wanted to finish Astral Gaston before we moved on to something else. Because tomorrow is going to be Hypnospace Outlaw and I'm really, really excited about the game. That is... You know, if Microsoft allows me to install it and run it properly. Because more than once... Um, I had issues in running um, games that have been just been available on the Xbox store thingy. So, yeah. We'll see. I mean, if not, we're gonna just play some Remnant, but I really hope it's gonna work. Anyway, we're back in here. Last time we crashed a few times just by trying to talk to these people. I have talked to him already. Oh, traveler, you've done it. Oh, oh, you slayed the dragon and lived to tell the tale. Never doubt your greatness, friend. We're gonna sit around here, ask a few questions to these people, see if the game holds. Certainly. For example, uh, let's ask him about his story. Oh, hey, uh, not much to tell about already. My story is like so many out there. Loss. Hunger, fear, and by providence, I found my way here to the last bastion of kindness and light. Searching my life before this place is like reaching through an endless fog. I do remember a ring I wore once. Mm. My greatest treasure. The last remnant of an old tale. I wonder. It's lost now. Like so many memories. What can you tell me about the others here? Oh, I don't like to gossip, but you twist my arm. <laughs> the cave <laughs> rough around the edges. I reckon she don't mind the company here. Riggs, he'd give you the shirt off his back if you asked. Bo, don't have much experience, but he's keen to do right by the ward. Ace is friendly enough. Oh, she keeps her cards close to her chest. This is uh, nice. Wallace, poor boy, he's just settling in. Oh yeah, that's and the guy, the the, the kid. Brother, we'll do our best by him, but that's a thread so not my, easily tied. I think my dog is trying to get my attention right now. <laughs> uh, anything else you need? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. We know he he doesn't really have any wares for us, see. so. Um. <laughs> Took down that huge beast in the city. Good on you, friend. Yeah, kill a dragon. Got a lot of deadwood out there, but that thing was a different level of hurt. Right? Let's trade. What you got for me? Nothing, as always. I mean, I kind of want to buy all of this anyway. Iron is very cheap, and it's always good to have. I mean, the crystals are a bit more expensive, though. I don't know if I want to buy them. Later. I'm not really using them, anyway. I wonder what she has to say about the dragon that we killed. Well met, traveler. You have seen the skein of worlds. You have walked the labyrinth. Also, I found the keeper, just as you said. You pursue the road, yes? Yes. Walk the world's wanderer. The founder lies beyond. He waits, but he does not know he waits. Right. I don't know what that means. But I'd like to see what you can upgrade, because we found the crystal last I time. I can offer you this boon, child. So we can definitely upgrade my dragon shard. That's good. Let's do it. How much is it? A thousand bucks? I'll do it. Got an achievement, Hot or Dragon. Good. To fare at all is well, child. Alright, well, that's uh, like having my Estus plus one. I guess that's a good thing. Now, let me talk to these people, see how they're doing. They probably have something new to give me. She doesn't. She, well, maybe she. we can make um, a skill with a dragon's heart or something. Magic tower? Yeah, right. Either you and Ace are nutty, or things are worse out there than I thought. 
They are worse. Fine. Let's have a look. <gasps> Why is that? A flamethrower, you say? With a blazing heart? Give it here. Give, give, give it to me. Yeah, good. Yeah. Now go. Good indeed. Wait, where is it? Oh my god. It's got a non removable skill as well. The flame was in like targets with the burning effect dealing a hundred damage over ten seconds. That's not that much though, is it? Full automatic weapon which shoots searing bullets. Oh, but maybe. I mean, we have to try it. I think I just drank a potion for fuck's sake. Ooh, okay then. Hey, buddy. Ace mentioned a new tower appeared in the city. Just showing up like it's always been there. I know, right? If it were me, crazy, I'd steer clear. Never know what those weeds are up to. Oh, I went in it already. What do you need? Do you have any new weapons and whatnot? Uh, he definitely doesn't. Can't craft anything. However, I can definitely upgrade my sniper rifle and my pistol and my melee and my armor. Oh, right, we have the mask. Which gives me health region. You know, it could be a good thing to have. I'll test it, I'll test it. Uh, in the meantime, what do we upgrade? You know, as much as the sniper rifle does a buttload of damage up front, I think having the coach gun with the two bullet quick fire thingy on uh, mid to small range, close range, it's not a bad idea. So I think I want to boost them both. Oh, I see. Upgrading the um, the boss weapon requires luminite crystals. I mean, it does make sense. I don't know if it really, if it's really helpful though. Hmm. What do we spend a freaking iron on? I mean, the revolver is definitely a good choice. Let's go for the sniper for now. Couple of uh, level ups. That's a lot of damage. Let's do three. And then we have a little forged iron that I can use uh, for the magnum. And maybe we can do one round of the coach gun as well, just in case we need that. Take care, my friend. All right. I mean, this Spitfire looks cool, but I don't think I'll end up using it. I think it's going to be a bit of a shit weapon. So that labyrinth does exist. Yes. My grandfather ranted about a moving. I found your grandfather the journal as well. Door to more doors, he said. I honestly never thought it was real. It is. Maybe he is still out there. What is happening, by the way? Why is that thing ticking up? Do you see that? Do you see my ability? It's counting up. Or it's getting stacks of, so of, of something. I don't know what. Oh, it's up to 50 now. Automatically. Well, I mean, let's go to the labyrinth. We have to choose one place now. Having explored everything around here, I think it's time we we pick a direction and we go there. This is where the journal was, right? I think... I think we go up here. 
What do you think? There's that place. There's that one. The red one, the purple one, or the weird one. I mean, this one has the notes. Let's go here. Rom is home to several sentient peoples. This is the Undying King, the only one of his kind as far as I know. He rules with the help of... Powerful living constructs that do the king's bidding. The strange reclusive Akari appear to be the most intelligent life form, except perhaps the Undying King himself, whom I have yet to meet. And the powerful mutated Buri, which are the closest thing to Rom, has to humans. Though they are decidedly not human, not anymore. Counters the alternate fire ammo? Is it? I'm a dangerous wasteland of a world. Nearly everything within has tried to kill me at one point or another. The most dangerous are the servants of the so called Undying King. But the world presents intriguing data on fighting the root. The root invaded, yet the world survived. I will return again and again until I learn more. The relationship between the people of Rom are complex and obtuse. The Akari are religious scholars. The Veer spend most of their time quelling Akari's rebellion and um, enslaving the Buri. Yet only the Akari fight back. Why? The Buri seem to have accepted the role in society, even glory in it. I don't understand, but then so much of this world remains a mystery to me. So this is Rom. Do we have notes on the other ones? I kind of wanted to see the, um, the other one. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. So that is the flamethrower. I wonder if uh, the burning effect then it's just caused by. Uh oh. Oh, I guess we're going here. There's notes as well. That's cool though. We know what kind of worlds are we. Oh, wait. Is something missing here? This is Corsus, a low-tech swamp. Oh, we don't want to do this. Uh, but no less dangerous for that. Imagine the Louisiana Bayou, except the alligators are armed, mosquitoes are big as a man, and you're a damn trespasser. I don't know if there are any answers here, but I've been searching so long. At this point, I can't afford to leave unturned stones at my back. Is this the place with the queen? What the hell is the Iskal? Yeah, the queen. This world uh, talks like it's some kind of loving. But their subjects sure as hell aren't showing me any peace of harmony. Yeah. We need something here. What is this? Oh yeah, we don't we definitely don't have the key to get in there. So we go back. You know, we can definitely go to uh, Rome, but just for completion's sake, uh, let me get over there and see what kind of world we're dealing with. Or worlds? I see two paths. No, no, never mind. This isn't going anywhere. What is that down there then? Oh, we're gonna teleport there. Okay, I see. Makes sense. Oh, we need another key. Okay, so we don't really have a choice then. <laughs> Which one is this? This is Yesha. This is it. The same world I visited back in the Ward 16. The Pan were unwelcoming then, but that was partially our fault. We had invaded the world without notice, avoided them, acted covertly. The reaction was warranted, if excessive. I won't make that mistake this time. This was... Jesus, almost 30 years ago now. 
I wonder if Narbin is still alive. This is the one that, where they were making the, um, the rebellion, I think. To anyone reading this, stay away from the ziggura ziggurats. The Pan Empress has a strict no foreigners policy, and the nobles jealously enforce it. Even the commoners fear those they call Paxultek. I made friends among the rebels, but even they are likely to greet strangers with suspicions. And if you did somehow gain their trust, you'd become the enemy of everything and everyone else in the jungle. Okay, so that's a jungle. I guess we go to Rom then. I guess the key looked um, exactly like the other one though. So maybe once we deal with Rom, and I'm guessing we're going to find a key over there, we can either open uh, Yesha or Corsus. I'd like to have the options, you know? I'd like to know that the game at least is not completely on one path. Alright. Can I go over here? No. Well then, to Rom we go. Oh boy. A whole different world. Another dimension or another like... I don't know, are these things like Stargates? Or are we actually going into a different dimension? Oh wow. It definitely looks like a Stargate. So it may be just a very distant planet. Hello. Great King! I did not expect... Excuse me? You? You are not he. Yet you have opened the gates. A second Nui? It must be. Forgive my confusion, unheralded one. What's a Nui? Speaker of the word. Herald of the Guardian. Ah, yes. Yet I thought... Uh, are you not new? Of course I am. I just wanted to know if you knew. You know? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I am not, actually. Yet, they opened the gates. Only the new we can... Could it be? Is it time? Uh, what language are you speaking exactly? I only speak Drudar. Perhaps a smattering of Buri. Yes, English. The language you're using right now. No enlightened one. Only Drudar, the ancient tongue, is spoken in these lands. Then how do I understand it? What's this place? Your sublime feet honor the sands of the eastern wind, itinerant one. My sublime feet, huh? Whatever your purpose, we are blessed by your presence. I'm looking for someone like me. His name is uh Surely there are none. My like chat is in the way. You, inimitable one. At least I have never seen your like. I know none of that name or description. There is one who might know, but uh, he is not one to give information willingly. Except perhaps to another Nui. I mean if I have to, I'll make him tell me. Who do you think stands before you? Tell me. Of this other Nui. Of course, of course. <laughs> Forgive my deliberation, ardent one. I die. His name is Islan. The Undying King. Of course. No doubt he will be... Overjoyed. We're gonna have to, to kill the Undying King, huh? That's gonna be uh, interesting. Sure, when I can find this Aslan. He rules from the citadel, in the canyons beyond the Black Sun oh, Gate. She looks human. The gate has been sealed since time forgotten. Oh, but no doubt you will find a way, Dynamic One. Right. You seem eager for me to meet Aslan. Why? Like all Akari, I am only eager to see the Guardian restored 
and the planet three Are you in a quarry? I don't know. Oh, discerning that's one. True. It is my joy then, my great honor, to help you find the Nui who was alive when said guardian fell. How many other Nui's are there? None. Only one has there ever been since the days of the Guardian. Right. Your arrival is unprecedented. Portentous. Go well, enlightened one. Thank you. Oh, wow. This looks really cool. At least we got the checkpoint. Just Do I need to touch it? I don't remember if I have to touch them like actual uh, bonfires. I think they activate just by s getting nearby. But maybe if I touch it, it's gonna set this as my current waypoint. So, oh. Okay. I've got a Detroit World Walker. Right. Stamina cost minus percent. Oh. So for running and dodging, I guess? That's not bad. Up to 20% reduction. This world... I mean, these buildings looks human, but at the same time, that definitely doesn't. Hmm. I wonder what kind of world this is. If it's like... It's like future Earth? Was it Earth at some point? An alternate version where the Undying King nuked everybody? I mean, that would explain why the Akais are humans. Heavy water elixir. Kind of total knowledge. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, this is it! I mean, these guys do look human. Uh, if I'm uh, just a little bit mutated. Oh. I see. So this is a machine gun. I mean, I honestly don't know about this gun. It feels like it's a big waste of bullets. Wait, the hunting pistol is not the right one. My magnum is the right one. There you go. And I do have the healing with the mag- Oh. They also have dogs. Well, they had a dog. Before I absolutely destroyed it. Poor doggo. It was a good boy. They're all, they all are good boys, you know. Um, is that the fire over here? Or do I hear some weird bugs skittering around? Man. I think they have a pretty good damage reduction. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, it does. Oh shit. I am one shotting them. From up close. The hell? Stay down. Okay, I'm running out of bullets. This was a lot of people. Ah, huh. oh, there you go. <laughs> So we do have other items now to smash, which is uh, nice. And this is a big chest. Ooh, nice. A big chest. A weird futuristic looking <laughs> chest. Like a techno one. Oh, it's over. Also, I am finding forged iron, which is nice. 
Holy! Okay. The guy was big. I broke the mask. I didn't mean to. God damn it. I don't need to, uh, technically get the mask. Thank god I got a bunch of bullets back. <sighs> Ooh, that was rough. I don't like this. So many buildings and narrow places. <laughs> this is very, um... Oh. What the... Look at that. They're everywhere. Oh my god. I can smash everything around here. Okay, I need to not do that or I will never ever leave this place. Ever. Ever. I'll just keep smashing things. For... Basically just a little bit of scrap. <laughs> Which really means nothing to us. We have plenty of scraps. And yet I still break things. Uh, I heard somebody. What I really want is the iron. That's useful. Forged iron especially now. That's a big boy. Okay. Broke the helmet. And died. He dropped a... Um, dropped a crystal. Aluminite. Nice. I need those. Okay. Uh, before we keep going, what is over there? That looks like a dungeon or something. This is definitely a dungeon, huh? Well, okay. Uh, what is that? What is this? Who are those? So many questions. Is it bad? Is it sticky? I don't know. We'll find out. We're probably gonna... We're probably going into a very sticky place. The black tear. I almost read it as black tar. And I was like, oh, there it is. But no. <coughs> okay. Um, what? Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um... I've got the citadel curse. Reach the decontamination chamber. I'm dying. It's actually hurting me. Very quickly. Oh boy. This is bad. This is really bad. Is killing things actually... <laughs> Jesus, what is happening here? Oh my god, this is bad. Oh my god, that was fast. Okay, killing things is actually regenerating my health. The fact that it's over is quite bad because I need 
I need to kill things or I'll die. Killing his enemy, yes. Interesting. The city look I'm in trouble. Oh shit. Um There's a chest. I can always use the big heal if I really need to. This is a problem. It's uh, it's going really fast. I'm dying. No, Wait. Good. That's it. I'm good. I think. Please decontaminate me. Oh, fuck's sake. I was in. It was supposed to work. Damn it. Well, this is really rough. I also think this is probably, um... This gun is gonna be better now. Radiation? I'm dead already. I'm dying. I need to kill something. Anything, please. Oh my god, ouch. I'm dead. I'm white. Jesus Christ. Just jump in, please. Lock. Lock the door. You please lock the door behind me. Oh my god. I guess this wasn't a uh, freaking. I was broken. You would never risk it. I mean. <laughs> Of nothing. I'm running a bit low on uh, pistol bullets. Shit. This is bad. I'm gonna die. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna try to use this. <laughs> see if it actually goes uh, past the degen. It does. Also, I don't know what radiation does. But I'm definitely suffering from radiation poisoning. Hello. God, I need anything. Please. Heal in a moment. I'm in trouble. Right now, in fact. Oh, now you show up. So much. Crap. Oh, I think they're coming. No. Oh, shit. Oh, they're coming out of the goddamn walls. Which is... What the fuck is this? Alright. Whew. Ooh, that was rough. Big boy, huh? Oh, there was a checkpoint. Uh, please get rid of the curse. Hello? This ain't good. I'm gonna have to use it. Okay. I had to use it. Ooh, what's this? 
Wastelander Flail. Oh my god. It does more damage. A flail with a large skull striking head connected to the chain. An unorthodox weapon meant to convert momentum into destruction. It converts slow startup into powerful swings and smashes, especially when attacks are charged. Okay, cool. Our planet heals, my people. This I have foreseen. Yet I do not think that will mean the end of our struggles. For struggle breeds strength, and a world without trouble grows idle, weak, and fallow. Easy prey to the locust that ever encircles us. The Akari know not the meaning of sacrifice. They preach that peace can be attained through amity and accord. But they have always lived in the peace of my shadow. They speak of what they do not know. Trouble will come, but do not fear. I am your guardian, and you are my strength. Together, we will stand against anything that comes. From the teaching of Esland the Undying. Wow. Wait, there's no way back. I think I have to teleport out. Uh, leave dungeon. Well, that was cool. A mini dungeon gave us a weapon as well. I mean, I was um, looking for a new melee. <laughs> this looks very cool as well. Okay, switch back to Sniper Reno. Hi. Please. Alright. I can hear them. They're all around me. I think all the ones in the back respawned as well. Just gonna have to keep moving uh, forward this way. That guy saw me. I hear a dog. It's probably another one as well. <coughs> Jesus. Damn it. Huh. Oh shit. Well, I got him. These guys are like all uh, radioactive. I guess this world was nuked by the Undying King, right? Stay down! Ooh, good dodge. Stay down! My bullets. Why is the music uh, still going? Ah, that's why. Oh, oh, go! Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. This guy's gonna wreck me. Oh, the dog is alive. God, the dog dog. Oh, for fuck's sake, what is happening? There's a lot of them indeed. I'm running out of bullets. What the shit was that? Oh my god. Oh, for real? I'm dying. I need to leave. 
right now. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh my god. He's uh, regenerated all his life. I am bleeding. I'm dead. This was fucking rough. <laughs> Holy crap, this was really rough. There were so many everywhere coming from all directions. This isn't looking good. There's another one. Instantly a big one. Okay, I guess I'm gonna take it like wide now. Okay, there's many, 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 many. I mean, I'm a little bit concerned with my bullet situation as well, because. Um I'm using a lot of them. I need to... I need to buff my pistol, I think. Have it kill people in one go. I mean, it does, but just from very, very up close. If I were to boost my damage a little bit more, it would probably one-shot them from just far enough that I, f I would feel a little bit more comfortable in using it. Someone's behind me. Oh, the shit. Okay, this guy. Oh, what the fuck are you doing here? Who's next? Alright. This guy's dead. Radiation. I don't know what that does, by the way. It's over. You still have that perk that uh, alerts enemies from further away? I think it was a ring, wasn't it? I mean, I don't have it equipped. Aggression range 200%. But reduces damage by 15%. Which I guess is not that bad. Elemental resistances might be good. If, um... I don't know, does bleeding and radiation count as elemental resistances in this game? That would be a good thing to know right now. When you radiated, your max stamina will be halved. Oh god, that doesn't sound good. Reload speed. I have slow weapons. Who the hell is that guy now? still alive god damn it just get wrecked by my mace if it's like dark souls where you're not actually irradiated until the middle feels that's probably it i'd like to know if it counts as elemental resistance though what kind of resistances are there bleeding fire rot corrosive shock and frost so maybe maybe elemental is just um 
fire, shock, and frost. Corrosive, I don't know. Borderlands has a weird concept of um, elements, for example. Where apparently corrosive and explosion count as elements. Good try. What the fuck is happening over there? Did you see it? There's a laser beam. Okay, cleared it all the way over here. I hear something like a chain. I need to clear this place properly. But it says yes, radiation is elemental damage along with corrosive and rot. Okay. So they go for the weird borderlands kind of element situation, which is good. I wonder if bleeding also is, counts as an element. I mean, it definitely is an ailment. Bleed too? Alright, then it's probably a very good one to have. I'm gonna level it up a little bit. Okay, I may- oh! Shit. I made it back to the well. Which, uh... Oh, fuck! That was so much damage! Oh god, okay, this is bad. That was a lot of damage. Holy crap, I'm gonna use a bandage actually. To get rid of some of that bleeding. <laughs> Jesus. Oh god. That this corner keeps spawning enemies. We're not done. I can hear it. <sighs> Ooh, that was rough. The fancy vault animation, I know, right? It's really good, though. I mean. See, the thing is, when we're doing like crazy action shooting and everything else, it's fine. It really works. But when we're like chilling and... Ooh, I wonder what's in there. Oh, wait a second. We just vaulted normally now. Huh. Okay. Well, whatever then. Is the game really wanted to prove me wrong, huh? No, there it is. I got a trait for doing it though. Climber. Um, fair enough. Vaulting speed increase. Oh, I think I know what it is. So this is the normal... Hang on. This is the normal vault. This is a super vault. Ah, I get it now. It's either whether you're running or not. If you're vaulting while running, then you do the crazy one. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Which means I will always do that one. I can't do that. Damn. There was a door right there. Perfectly functional, but... I mean, why? Alright, I think um, I think that's all for this part of town. 
Hang on. What is that? I mean, it comes up as an enemy. E. Wait. I can activate this? What? It's like a golem. Holy moly, what is this place? This is cool. <gasps> boy. Down, boy. Down. Good boy. Good boy. Very good boy, apparently. I got an item. Very good boy. Yes, he's a very good boy. Look at him. Glimmer ruins. <laughs> So, uh, hi. Oh, welcome. I assume you seek the sustenance. What are you buying? You've come to the right place. Hmm. You have a new smell about you. Not the wastes, nor the citadels. Where are you from, friend? Another world entirely. Oh, yes, sir. That would explain it. I've never smelt your kind before. Why are you chill with me? Wherever you're from, you are welcome here. My prices ah, because are we're the making money. I see. All. You may also be interested in information. Buri, a car. It's Buri, not Buri. Even the great king Buri. himself. None keeps secrets from Wad. You so, what? How can I help you? I'd like to do business. Oh, business it is. I have many goods to barter. Give me oh, a big two-handed sword. Secrets. Let me see your wares. All I have is yours to consider. All right. What is he selling? Um, ah, elixir, heavy water. Obviously, it's for radiation. He also sells the jewel of the black sun. Increased range damage by seven percent for twenty seconds after a ranged kill, and it stacks three times. That actually sounds pretty good. Or the Mender's Charm. Dragon Hearts heal all allies within 100% base effectiveness. Increase all healing effectiveness by 50. That's very good if you're playing multiplayer. You can uh, specialize as a healer. This one, though, it's interesting. 7% for 20 seconds after. 20 seconds is a long time for kill. So three times it means you're gonna go up to 21% extra damage. That's a lot, actually. I'm gonna buy it. I mean, it's cheap. Do return safely. Are you after information? I have that as well. Oh, I'll come back. I, I was just interested in whatever the hell that is. You know. I feel like this is the seat of the Undying King. And I definitely need a key to get in there. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a... Um, it'll be, oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that sun. Or, like, eclipsed sun, I guess. You know what? This looks like it's um, it's out of Star Wars. Not that one, maybe. Well, maybe that could be a Sith, an old Sith ruin. Kinda. I can see this being Star Wars. Okay, so the we need a key. We definitely need a key. What has everything you need? Also, before we do anything else, I think it's getting late. Yeah, I kind of have to go. So let's talk to this guy. See so what he has to say, and then uh, we'll make it to the checkpoint and call it a day. <laughs> Can I ask about you? I will do my best to answer. Yes, good. Uh, what's with the mask grafted to your face? That's very rude as a first question. Well, the construction outside. Let's just start easy, you know? An ancient monster. Relic of a bygone era. I found it many years ago, but could never make it work. Though... Given its size, 
Perhaps it better serves as a statue. Right. You may. What? Um, what's that construct outside? We just talked about it. What's with the mask grafted to your face, I guess? Oh, oh, ah, yes. The Buri often improve their own bodies, making themselves stronger. I'm sure you have seen this. Yes. The Idri, the Chosen Ones, for example, are given powerful crystals that grant unique gifts and visions. But that's not a crystal. Oh, astute friend. You have a discerning <laughs> eye indeed. <laughs> Or maybe more than one. Yeah, I actually have two. No. Imagine that. Wad's mask is decoration on Right. Me. My strength lies in the quality of my wear. A fine man. I'd like to do business? No. Uh, yes, actually. Business it is. Uh, what about the secrets? A blind man hears much. Secrets that may escape the notice of others. I know many things. For 100 scrap... I'll share one piece of information with you. Something I guarantee you won't hear anywhere else. 100 scraps seems pretty cheap to me for a secret. Not many know this, but there are two types of Buri. The Sul and the Kari. Uh -huh. The Sul are large, powerfully built. You are, in fact, looking at one. <laughs> right. But the Kari are less well known. Smaller, quicker. Masters of the hunt, keep your eyes open. I appreciate your business. I mean, was that a secret? That was the pretty shitty one. Uh, let's go for another secret. He's gonna bleed me dry, isn't he? The Akari were once priests of the Undying King. <laughs> Both servants and worshippers. Not so anymore. Those alive today believe the king is a heretic. <laughs> one who must die. If the guardian is to be reborn. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. Aren't they wrong? Until the guardian. That's why the again, lady um, that we met as soon as we got here wanted me to meet the king. She wants me to kill the king, so the guardian can be revived. That makes sense. That's okay. That's that was a good secret. There is a Buri outcast who lives among the hounds of the waste. <laughs> he was a patron of mine before he became one of them. Right. Perhaps you have met him. Yes. But you don't know this. That thing in his head is no crystal or decoration. He has grafted to himself a fear control rod. Oh! Oh, it's those guys with the green crystal in their face. So maybe we can get it from them. Somehow. And if we get it, we can use it to power the golem outside. Ooh, that was a good secret. Oh, good job. Wub, wub, what? What's it called again? Islan, the Undying King, is wise and all-knowing, or nearly all-knowing. Oh, what does what doesn't his he know? Is his belief that none can challenge him. He cannot foresee any future in which he himself dies. But everyone can die. Yes. I guess. <laughs> and uh, a tyrant's death would be a boon to many, including the one who brought it about. Right. You didn't hear it from me. <laughs> okay, give me another one. Oh, alas. You have drained me of secrets. Uh, 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 but in oh. exchange, I have oh. a special piece of armor nice. just for you. <laughs> Take a look. Barter? The, is it like? It. Do I have to buy it? I'm sure I have. I do. Holy crap! Osseous armor. That is. Is that heavy though? I think that's very heavy. I have to buy, but look at it. Look at it. The weight, it looks insane though. It looks like a very heavy armor. Let's see, it's 19, 9 for the boots and 10 for the helmet. Do return safely. Uh, 19, it's heavier than my drifter. Boots are the same. The helmet is extremely heavy though. But, I mean, if we use the, um, the idol, maybe 
we can wear it. What's the bonus? I didn't even see that. Businessy. All I have. Bloodlust. Subsequent range of melee hits against the same enemy increase the wear total damage you dealt to that enemy. Effective rates over time. Melee and fire rates are increased by five percent. Holy crap! That is insane. Actually, this is against, this against bosses. It's stupidly OP. You do up if you wear all the the entire set, you get like thirty five percent maximum damage against the same target. That's <laughs> that's a lot. That's quite a lot, especially in a big weapon like the sniper rifle. Like instead of doing two hundred damage, you do three hundred damage almost. I think we're gonna have to buy this. It's quite expensive. It's like two, uh, three and a half. It's pretty much. Yeah, it's almost half my money. I'll think about it. Until next time, friend. I'll think about it. Pretty neat, though, huh? I like we got it after um, buying all the secrets. Apparently, you know what I'm gonna do next time? I think we're gonna go back to base and like exhaust the dialogues with everybody because it looks like you get rewarded for talking extensively to people, NPCs, and whatnot. Right? I mean, we listened to the stories of old Mudtooth and he gave us the ring. Oh, no, the, sorry, the pocket watch. We bought all the secrets with this guy and he gave us uh, the armor, or at least allowed us to buy it. Seems to me like it's a pretty good deal. Alright. Sounds like there's a dog after me. Sounds like there's more than a dog after me. Here. Okay. Hello? Help? That hit me while I was freaking vaulting. Asshole. These guys. Alright, I'm just gonna touch the crystal and uh, that's gonna be. I... I did the wrong dodge, didn't I? Are we done? Can I rest? Say goodbye, guys. <laughs> oh my god, poor dog. I fucking wrecked his face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I just wanted the money. I just wanted the money. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Alright, guys. Okay. I think this is gonna be it for tonight. Alright. So. I'm gonna leave now. Uh, again, tomorrow, if we have no issues whatsoever with the Microsoft Store, um, it's gonna be Hypnospace Outlaw. It's gonna be fun. If not, we'll see. We'll play something else. Maybe some more Remnant, or um, we just start a new game entirely. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for tonight. So, thank you. Oh, squatting. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll uh, see you soon. Yeah? Bye.